Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Yesterday I demonstrated in Microsoft Teams how to add your own custom background. And as soon as I published that video, I had questions about where did you get those backgrounds that you use? Because I had used Family Guy, I had used something from The Simpsons to demonstrate. So today's video is where did I get those and how do you download them? So I have the URL and the website already pulled up. I'll put the URL in my description uh, in the YouTube video, but there it is, Fox Microsoft Teams backgrounds. What they did is for each of their shows, there are three different background images. Here are the instructions right here, but I'm going to give you a little tip about this, and then I'm going to tell you another tip about Microsoft Teams when you add these custom backgrounds. So the Masked Singer, one, two, three. Lego Masters 3, there's the Simpsons, those are very popular. I'm not going to sit here and go through every one, but let me show you. I'm going to use Family Guy. I'll show you my tip for downloading them here. If I use this one right here, if you notice, I'm about to click on it. Also notice I only have one tab running in my browser. You can do this in Edge, Chrome, Firefox. I'm not a Mac guy, but I would assume this works in Safari with no problem. If I click this image, I'm actually expecting a new tab to open, but watch. It stays in this tab, which is technically okay. There's nothing wrong. To save the image, just right click, save image as, find a folder to put it in. I'm going to stick it in my downloads. You can change the name. I could name it uh, something else, but I'm going to just hit save. The issue is I did this accidentally. I was expecting this to open a new tab, so I hit the X to close it, which now i got to go find the URL again. So I'm going to hit back, which is still OK. But here's the tip if you want this image. I'm just going to right click it and open the link in a new tab. Watch up at the top left. New tab. Click it. Right click. Save image. So there you go. Now I can close it. No big deal. The real tip I have for you though is this. In Microsoft Teams, I'm on my desktop computer right now. So when I add a custom image to Teams, it only does it for that computer. So if I go get on my laptop or another desktop and run a Teams meeting, that, Im that custom image will not be there. All the default images are but not the custom image. I just want to make sure you know that. So my recommendation is also, if you like these images you're downloading and you're going to use them, put them in a shared um, cloud place. Like I'm going to stick mine in OneDrive as an example. So there's another tip. Anyway, that's all I have today. Keep the comments and suggestions coming. Uh, feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. And everyone have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.